yeah. So it is obviously about size. So if you if you go, which is the smallest in terms of size? I know I know that Jupiter is has largest, then probably Saturn, and probably Mars. So this is what what it allows is I can I can drag and I can change the images like this right and i can now see whether i have done correctly or not so i have done correctly only for two so i can retry or i can resume from where i left right and then i can see another kind of similar image sequencing example so these are examples photographs of us united states presidents previous presidents and we are asked to arrange them, arrange last 10 US presidents from the most recent to the earliest, right? So, of course, Joe Biden is not there. This was prepared before, Joe, no, you, you can see Joe Biden is also there. So the question is most recent to the earliest. So, of course, this is first. If you see, First five are in order, but the rest five are not. So we can we can drag the images and we can place them in their respective positions, right? So that's how we can do, right? Before that, Mr. Clinton will come here, right? Then before. And you can check. So this is another example of image-based image sequencing examples. Okay. These are body parts. Order the parts of the human body from top to bottom. If you look at human body parts, which comes at the top, so of course, this will come at the top, followed by ear, then lips will come then throat will come neck then before hand i will shoulder will come then hand elbow then hand then knee then feet right so this was probably easy to do right so so these are three examples i have shown how to create image sequencing example. Now, if you go to Lumi, so Lumi will also give you, you can search Lumi here, and Lumi will also give you image, if you search image, it gives you image description, sequencing, right? So if you click here, first time you need to install it. Now the key is, Lumi will give you the template to create, but Lumi won't tell you which image to take on which topic, what kind of image sequencing content to design. This is we as teacher or as content developer, we have to decide. So if I am teaching English, I'll, I'll choose for depending on which class I'm teaching, I'll choose the appropriate images. If I'm teaching geography, if I'm teaching history, if I'm teaching political science, if I'm teaching any other language, mathematics, so right? Depending on my class, my subject, I'll to decide if at all I have to create an image sequencing example. So first I'll, I'll, I'll think on a topic and then I'll find out or create required number of images. The image can be four, five, six, seven, eight, right? So I have the images and I know the correct order. Then I'll go here, I'll use the template. I'll give it a title. I'll give a task description like this here, alternative task description. And then I'll put keep on putting images. One, two, three. If you click on adding images, I can click on as many images I, I want. For each every image, there will be image description. Right? Why image description is required? Because those users who can't see, who are blind, they will come with some software, screen reading, right? So they, they can't see the image, at least their software. If we add a description here, their software can read it. So that's why we will take care of accessibility also. Right. If you want to put some audio files also again for some images or all images, each image you can put that as well. Right. 
So that's how you, you keep on putting image in the final correct order. So what you do by default, you put the images you in, in the right arranged order. But when you when the user will play it, what the what the HYP does is it randomizes, it, it shuffles it and then gives it to the user. And the user is asked to edit, right? And then the, there are certain behavioral settings, advanced settings, like whether you want to show a show solution button or not, whether you want the user to retry or not, whether you want to give them only one attempt, that means you won't, won't select it, that means user can't retry. Do you want to allow them to resume from where they left or every time they have to start afresh? So if you can, you can decide here, yes or no, right? So these kind of settings also you can do. You can go to text overwrite and you can decide what all text overwriting property you want to use. For example, here you can edit settings or translate text in this context. Right, so you can you can you can decide audio not supported message what error to give. These are certain advanced settings. Even if you skip them, doesn't matter. And anytime while preparing, you can go to view and you can see what you have created here. Right. So uh, now I request all the participants to open Lumi Editor if you have installed it successfully. And then choose any of the template. I have shown you two types of templates. One was fill in the blank, and the other one was image sequencing. Whichever suits you, or if you want to, if you have a ready video in your hand, if you want to create a interactive video content, that means in embedding or inserting questions in between the video, you can also do that also. Or you can choose any other HFP template that Lumi supports. Just open it, install, install the Lumi, download the template, and start creating. Okay. So how much time do we give them, Priyakshi? So we can give them around 40, 45 minutes. All right. If you, if participants will be able to complete it before that, it will be great. They can showcase what uh, they have done and uh, they can ask whatever uh, yeah. so queries what they, can they do, have. Just to add to you, if you, if you are able to edit in Lumi, create a content. So you, you go to Lumi. I'll show here again. Let me share my screen again. So what you'll do is you'll go to Lumi and then suppose fill in the blanks was the one last we created. So what you will do, you'll go to file, you will export and you'll export as all in one HTML file and then you click on export now. And then an HTML file will be saved in your computer. So what you do is you, you paste in the chat bot that HTML file or, or you can share the link also. So that way we can check. And while performing, while uh, creating content side by side also, if you face any trouble, you can ask, we are here yes. to help you. And it will be great if all of you will switch on your video so that we'll be able to interact with you better and we'll be able to get to know whether you people are understanding or not, are able to right. perform or not. That helps. So we request all the participants to please turn on your video, right? Please feel free to let, let us know if you have any particular difficulty while installing, downloading or installing Lumi or uh, working on a content template that Lumi provides. So we can see only some of the participants have turned on their video. I request all of you to please turn on your video. One of the participants has asked that, sir, can we do this in mobile? 
Now editing Lumi will be a bit challenging in mobile. It will not work. So out of 155 participants, only 35 persons have turned on their video. I don't understand why others are not willing to turn on their videos. It will be highly appreciable if all of you will switch on your video. This uh, session is about interactive resources and for interaction, we require your video to be on. So. There is one more query, sir. Uh, that is about uh, um, from that is from Assam. I could not install Lumi as it requires 64 bit OPS, but mine is 32 bit OPS. Let me check. No, they can. If 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 you if you click on Lumi download page, if you I'll let, let me share my screen and let me show. So if you see, if you see my screen. This is where I right. am right. If I click on window, it shows me two options. One is by default, of course, sixty four bit. And then there are further installers from GitHub. If you click on this link, you go to GitHub where there are other Rumi releases are there. And if you scroll down here, you see the 32-bit installer also. There are two installers of 32-bit. So you can install this one, this October 26 release, IA32.exe. You can download this file and it will work on 32-bit system as well. And if you are well versed with how to work on YML files, you can work on this as well. But easier is to download Lumi 0.10.0 multi-user IA32.exe for those people who uh, don't have a 64 bit architecture of their operating system. Thank you, sir. I hope the query must have answered and uh, now that participant will be able to download, will be able to install Lumi. Um, do we have uh, some data like how many of these participants are joining only through mobile phone? They don't have any laptop or desktop. So we do not have such data. So okay, please try to correct this also through their attendance additionally. Okay. So that it, it helps us to communicate or decide in further such programs because if participants are throughout joining only their mobile phones, then what they will learn, what they will practice through a mobile phone in the name of e-content development. We expect them to be great resource persons for e-content development. And if they are joining only through mobile phone, it's hardly of any use. Okay, sir.
sir, there is another query. Dr. Richal. Yes, yes, see, I want to use image hotspot how to add background image. Yes, sir. How to use background image in your query, right? If you go to image hotspot, if you go to Lumi here, and uh, you go to new HYP. So your screen is not visible. Oh, yeah, sorry. Go here and go to Lumi, and if you go on creating new HYP, which talks about not filling the blank, because you want to search image hotspot, right? If you go there and if you start using it. So how do, you are asking how to use a background image, right? So you click on add. And for to add a background image, you should have an image ready in your computer. So as I said, for everything creation, to create any kind of e-content, you need to have all the contents available with you. This is a software through which now you can mix things together, create the interactivity, but the content should be with you. You need to have the text ready with you. You need to have the images ready with you. So image hotspot, requires you to add a background image because on which image you want to add hotspot where well, if, if there are, you should show me a big image and you should add certain hotspots so that if i click on that hotspot i get to see some some information in the form of a text video something or anything or another image right so for that i need a background image so for that you have to be ready with supposing you are you are you are teaching in biology so you you are you are talking about the human physiology, right? So you, you need to have a physical an image ready of human physiology saved as image in your computer first. Then only you will click on add and then you select that image. For example, this one. Now this is a PPTX. So if you go to picture and just to some sample picture, if I have, I don't know. This is one of the picture. So supposing I want to use this image, although this is not the approach, just for the sake of showing. I click on it and this is my background image now. That's how you'll create background image. Now you, if, if I have this background image, I want to go and see what are the icons, plus, minus, times, so layer by default it will be plus. Plus is the way to show an hotspot. So on this, where you want to put a hotspot? Here, here, where? I have to put here. Now I want to decide if I click on this hotspot, what should pop up? If as a user, if this when this image is shown, and as a user, if I click on this button, what should I see on my screen? Should I see a, a video, a text, an image, or an audio? Suppose text. Okay. And then what is the text? So I'll write this is how the list of participants in Zoom is shown, right? This is my hotspot. Now I can add one more hotspot. So I'll be shown again, same image because my background image is same. Suppose this is, this is another one. This is another hotspot. Okay. So on this hotspot, what I want to show, I can again show text, I can again add video, image, or audio. So suppose I choose text and I write this is the chat window. Right. So that that this way I keep on adding hotspots. If I am done or while adding in between, I can go to view anytime and I can see, okay, a title is required, my image hotspot, for example. Right? Now, if I go to view, I can see, this is my, I can see it as a full screen also, right? So this is my full screen, that image that I used. So here I have added one hotspot plus sign 
and here one more in hotspot S plus sign. If I click on this, it shows this is how the list of participants in Zoom is shown. If I close it, and if I click on here, and I have written this is the chat window, right? Although this image is wrong one, I have taken just a screenshot. I was in a hurry, so whatever I found, I just took it. But this is just an example like how you can use H5P a background image in an in a image hotspot content in H5. Thank you, sir. There is uh, another query and one request also. Uh, one of the participant has sent link of the resource created by the participant mm -hmm. and uh, the participant has requested you to check whether it is up to the mark or not. No, we can't, we can't see because see, what you have done is you have shared the file from your computer. But your computer, it is C drive users Lenovo in that folder, your HTML5 is there. But your computer is not on the internet, it is not in the network. So I can't access the C file from here. Instead, what you can do is, uh, Nidhi, if we have an email ID for this program, so they can share their HTML file as an attachment in that email and that's the only way we can check. So we have WhatsApp group. Yeah, so in WhatsApp group, they can very much send it. And then we can touch another participant also you can touch and it will open on their mobile or system also and they can see it. So I request uh, this participant, um, AS Tridip Jyoti Bora, to please WhatsApp it, the, the file is still file in the, in the participant group. But sir, these links are not working uh, online also. No, like he I has to. Checked. No, he has to. He on WhatsApp he can't send the link. He has to send the actual WhatsApp mm -hmm. HTML file. The way he, the way we send each other an images in image. Similarly, you have to share Mr. Bora the HTML file instead of sending its link. To the group. Since I am not in that group, probably so I can't check. Let me see. If I am also in that group. I'll check it. Otherwise, I'll add you in the group. No issue. So there is a, a one query that uh, there is one of the participant uh, who has laptop but missed beginning of the session. So there is no solution to that. I can't help it, right? I can't repeat the session for him or her. Only way is probably they can request you to share the video if that is possible. Here she can go through. I mean, missing um, half of the session can't be of much help. I can't help. Yes, sir. Or she can try uh, with the new H5P on her own. Yes, and if she finds yes. uh, any is really, issue. Very easy, very easy. Go to h5p.org, just see some templates, read the documentations, or go to YouTube and watch a, a few videos on how to create H5P content using Lumi. It's pretty easy. It's not difficult at all. Yes, sir. There is another query. Can we add Lumi file in Canva? Lumi file in Canva. Canva is for what? So it's uh, for infographics. No, Lumi already, H5P file means already you have added some additional programming, HTML programming in that. That's why you got this interactivity. But Canva allows you to create, edit images, create infographics. So you can't take a Lumi file and work there. Okay, so there the is other, another. Actually, it is the other way. In Canva, you will first create your graphic, infographic, create everything ready, and then you mm -hmm. bring those things into Lumi and then add interactivity. Uh, that's a great idea. Uh, so I hope participants will definitely do this. We'll have integrated, we'll show how integrated learning works. Uh, there is another query, sir, then uh, how to download images, for example, triangle, if I don't have one in my desktop. How to? Download uh, an image, for example, of a triangle. So if they do not have image of a triangle and if they require, then how to download that free image. Okay. <laughs> so, see my screen. So I go to browser again. Uh, 
and I go to Google, right? And I search triangle. If I if I know it is um, equilateral triangle or some special type triangle, isosceles triangle, whatever it is, then I know what type of triangle. If not, by default, I search triangle. So it will show me Google search engine will show me everything related to triangle text, image, audio, video. If I go to image, it will show me on the images related to triangle. In image also, I can I can decide on transparent images, clip arts, art, symbols, right? Outlines. If I have any specific thing, if not, I'll go to tools. If you see the button here, tools. In tools, there are so many things. I can search by size, large, medium icon. I can search particular color images. I can search type, clip art, line drawing, GIF. I can search time when it was uploaded on Google. Or I can search the most important one is the usage right. So by default, you search Creative Commons licenses. So these are freely available images of triangles. Any one of them you can just download and save and you can use if these, any of these images of triangle serves your purpose. Supposing you want to use this one. So you can click on this and then you can right click on it and then you can save this image as on your computer. You can give it a name and you can decide where to save it and that's how you save the image. Alternatively, you can use Word, Paint, Canva, any other tool and quickly draw an image of a triangle, a triangle. Why to do all these efforts to just to bring one image of a triangle, right? So you can go to shape and you can very much take this shape and you can with the click of a mouse and you have your triangle ready, right? You can decide whether you want to have a fill this image or not with some color, you can decide. If not, you can decide shape outline. You want certain color outline, you want a thick way, thin way, side, whatever you want, right? And then you can also decide whether you want a dot, star, all these things, right? And you can decide the boundary color also. So there are a variety of ways you can do things, right? You can rotate it. Can drag here and you can rotate it also whichever way you want right and you can copy and make multiple triangles also so for at least just to draw a triangle i won't go to internet i'll, I'll use any any of the tools paint word any such tool and i'll draw an image i hope i could answer the question yes sir there is another question they are saying, they are saying i could see nidhi they are saying like only admin can post in the group so that's why they won't be able to is it true Yes, sir. This uh, no, is only can, because it is you only disable because, them. Ha, please. You only because because of the attendance link. Only when we send attendance link at that time, we disable um, participants from sending so that, message. So that others can't send, and so that the other way the link gets lost. I understand. Yes, yes, sir. So for the and, time being, you can again enable the participants to allow so that they can share their H five P content with all of you. Okay. Okay. Hello, participants. Uh, sir, uh, sir, will that be okay if they will send this after the session or do you want this right, right, during right, the session? Right. No, no, no. They can send after the first. Okay. So we will allow participants uh, to send uh, to after attendance, means after the session. At that time, attendance link will not be live. And in any case, participants will be allowed to participate in the WhatsApp group as well. Uh, one of the person is raising hand, uh, Dr. Raj Kiran. Do you want to say something? Okay, just a second, sir. Now you can unmute yourself. Uh, yes, sir. <clears throat> I tried creating one content in uh, Lumi. So can I show you very quickly? All right. Now? Can I? Yeah, yeah, please. I'm sharing my screen. Uh, host has disabled the participant. I, I have enabled, I have just now enabled.
Are you able to share your screen? Uh, just I'm trying. Now. Yeah, can you see my board? Yes, yes. So, I have tried yeah. five quiz questions. Wonderful. Uh, that is fill in the fill in the missing words. Mm -hmm. The first question is Chandigarh is also the capital of Das. Mm -hmm. So name of the president of India is Das. Full form mm -hmm. of UPSC is Das. Diksha is a platform where Das are available. Mm -hmm. um, ICT means Das. So yes. I can try filling. Yeah. Like if I put Haryana, then it shows right. What if you put Punjab? Uh, let Let me try, sir. Actually, in my response, it is uh, right. Right. So you should have given multiple options because yes, both the options yes. are correct in this case, right? And yes. if you remember, I told you how to add those multiple options by putting slash. Yes, yes. Slash, right. Yeah. So Haryana slash Punjab slash Chandigarh. Chandigarh is also the capital of the UT Chandigarh, right? So there are three options. Right, sir. So similarly, name of the president of India is uh, if I type Shrimati Padi. Then it shows correct. Then full form of UPSC. If I type Assam Public Service Commission, then it will show wrong right. because it has to be Union Public Service Commission. Similarly, Dixa is a platform where educational contents are available. ICT means... What if someone writes e-contents are available in Diksha? What if someone writes uh, teacher training courses are available? Uh, pardon, sir. Diksha is a platform where? Where, okay. yeah, where yeah. courses are available, e-contents are available, right? So, so just, just go on retry. Yeah, yeah. Just go on retry. Right. Anyway, we, we got it. So you have, you have understood. So meanwhile, I, I got it. You don't have to attempt again. So can you can you not try creating some other kind of examples? The contents. Okay. Right. Sir. Sure. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well done. Thank you, sir. Hello, good evening. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Can I share my screen? Okay. Okay, one second, one second. I think uh, one of the participants has already shared, so I thought that that participant... Yeah, please, please unshare. The previous participant is requested to unshare your screen so that other can share. Okay. Yes, so um, Supradas Ji has yes. requested... Okay. So it is uh, shared, I think. Yes, it is. So this is the image uh, hotspot I have created. So these are the area where student can clean. But I don't know how to share this link. I, I don't think this link will. Uh, no, no, it. no. So what I'll, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. On your computer, on your desktop, there is a, this HTML file, right? Image yes, yes. hotspot.html. So yes, just that is. file you have to share on WhatsApp. The way you share on WhatsApp any email, 
Similarly, or any PDF file, similarly, yeah. you will share this HTML file instead of sharing this okay, link. But I cannot share link, no? No, you can't share link because okay. as I said, why, why? Because your computer is not on the internet. Okay. The hard disk where you have, the desktop of your computer is not on the internet. Okay, okay, thank you. So uh, this is the area where they have to click. What is this? So this is a school. Then for example, here, if they click, who am I? The question pop up here. You can see the question is getting pop up. Then when they click here, they bring their cursor here, it will say identify. So if they click here, it will come in the notebook because it is very uh, short time. That's why I put text only. Otherwise, we can put uh, sound also. I have seen one hotspot. There is all bars are there. When you click the bar, they produce their sound. Right. So I can also show that hotspot also I have uh, right now with me. So, so see, sky is the limit in terms of imagination. I just showed you the possibility. Now yes, it yes. is dependent on our creativity, our imagination. We can create n number of interesting contents. Yes. This is just a tool or just a template, right? Yes, sir. It depends on how interested we are in creating this content, how much effort we are keep putting on thinking about this e content. Then only we can come up with a script like I want this kind of e content. Then I'll need this kind of material, image to be ready, information to be ready. Then I'll prepare and make all these available, collect, create. Then I'll go to Lumi and start. Yes, sir. Sir, this is the hotspot. When we click the sound. So this is the name given. When I click this, it will start sounding. When I click this, this will start sounding. So who has created this? Actually, I have collected this uh, since two years before. Okay. So this is created by book with jet, uh, mm -hmm. by com. And I was very curious to learn this thing, but today I have learned this thing. Learn, right, right. Very, very right. thank you, sir. Yeah, thank Actually, you so I much for your interest. That, uh, we have to learn C++ or programming. To right, create. see, these guys have, have not used H5P to create this. But H5P, why we are interested to explain H5P is, before H5P, only we were expecting technical people or programming people knowing programming will be able to create this kind of e-content. But now with H5P, that gives you ready-made templates and tools. So without knowing any, any ABCD of programming, also we can create good quality interactive content. That's why H5P is- That's why I'm, I'm just uh, searching this thing, how to create this, right. but uh, I have uh, got the information that we have to learn programming. But, then no, I but now, this. now you, I, I, I believe you must have understood C. So to create an image hotspot like this, you need to have, first of all, figure out what are the different kind of birds you want to use. Suppose you want to create the same thing. So suppose you will find, I'll use 10 birds. So you'll find out or download or draw or click with your camera 10 different bird images. Then yes. for each bird image, you will find out what is the exact sound that this bird produces. Yes. So you'll find out that many 10 audio, small, small audio clip also, right? Yes, yes. With yes. both things ready, then you will go to Lumi and you will just stitch them together. You have the image ready, you have the audio ready. So Lumi yes. is just to stitch it together. Sir, one more question, sir. Uh, that Lumi and H5P file, so right. these are available in the same platform I have seen in the Lumi application, I can get... Uh, I, the, the, the confusion is natural. Let me explain once again, what's the difference between H5P and Lumi? These templates, template. Temple, uh, let me explain again. These templates are created by H5P, fine? Okay. They keep on creating new kind of e-content templates, image hotspot, interactive video, fill in the blank, all these new, new kind of templates, they keep on involving, uh, evolving, right? Okay. Now they give you template and they say, if you have a Google Classroom or if you have any other software in your school or in your state, if you want to install H5P, there also you can straight away edit and create e-content. They won't give you space. On H5P side, you cannot create and store your e-content. They are saying you take my software. The way Microsoft used to say earlier, 
कि यू टेक माई एम एस वर्ड एम एस एक्सएल यू इंस्टॉल ऑन यूर कंप्यूटर एंड देन यू कीप ऑन क्रिएटिंग योर वर्ड एक्सएल पॉवर पॉइंट फाइव यू कॉन्ट स्टोर ऑन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट राइट सिमिलरली इट्स आई पी से Right, so H5P is saying you install my my H5P software on your computer, and then you keep on working on H5P files. But Lumi is so installing H5P and working on H5P file is is a bit technical, and the most challengeful part is that when you save an H5P file in H5P software, it is stored as H5P because, for example, Microsoft Word, so it is saved as doc. Now another word, Microsoft. If you send it to me, your Word file, I should have Microsoft Word installed in my computer. Then only I'll be able to open it, right? Similar is the yes. case with H5P. But Lumi has made it easier in the sense Lumi is saying, I am just the editor. I allow you to work on any H5P file. Additionally, I allow you to save them as HTML file also. Now the yes. advantage of HTML file is that if you send to anybody. That person does not need any H5P or Lumi to open your file. The moment yes. they you send it, they they have a browser, Chrome, Fire, Firefox, Mozilla, any any soft um, browser they can open in your file. That's where Lumi comes into. Yes, I sir. hope I, I could clear, clarify your question. Yeah, yeah, this thing is clear, sir. And and sir, we have to work with the H H5P app also, sir. App? No, no, app is not needed. Site, site. Site. Site one no from H5P you get to know what are the templates available. Now you uh -huh. readily state away just download and install Lumi software and keep on working in Lumi. You don't okay, have to. Okay, okay. I can HIP. use HPIP uh, things in Lumi. Right, right. All the H5P templates you can use in Lumi and create your own. Sir, I can use any type of audio format in Lumi, sir, or it should be MP3 or web file or something, sir. Uh, in certain cases, certain restrictions are there. I have, I mean, when I'm not sure, so you have to see case to case. Okay, but sir. largely, they support all kind of audio files. Okay, thank you, sir. <laughs> Sorry. Even if they don't, there are web websites, web tools, converters wherein if you have a web file and they need MP3, so web to MP3 converter is there just with a click of a mouse you can convert, right? Okay, okay. Thank you, sir. I'll create this thing. See, I can see somebody, Minakshi, Madam Minakshi. Has already shared capital of Manipur dot HTML. So that means on the on the Zoom chat also we can share HTML files, right? Yes, sir. I can see people yeah. are Sandhya Pradhan has done, shared H5P, but the challenge is that if you send it as H5P, I even if I download it, I can't open and play with you or see your content because I don't have an H5P software installed in my computer. That's why we are suggesting everyone to export it as HTML and then share with each other. They can also show their content the way others have shown by screen sharing. For the during this session, if they want to show. So they can show by screen sharing, and after the session, they can share, as uh, Doctor okay. Chaul has said. Sir, although um, this is uh, answered by one of the participants also, but still, uh, some of the participants are confused about how to create HTML link. If uh, that can be repeated. Sorry. Um, student participants are getting confused about how to create HTML link. That means how to export their content as HTML file. So they require a recap of that portion. Okay. Please. Um, okay. Can you can you see my screen, Lumi? Yes. Sir. Yeah. So if you see, suppose this is my image hotspot. Okay. Or if we go to any other file, start, open H5P file, fill in the blank H5P is there, right? So I open it. So this is a file that I created, H5, fill in the blank content. Now I want to, this is how it was, right? Now I want to save it. So I'll go to file here, file. And I go and I click on export. And I click by default, it is there all in one. So I'll just keep on click on export now. 
and I'll let him know key where I am need to save it on the and then I click on export and it, it will get saved as HTML. Thank you, sir. There is one more query that uh, one of the participants has asked that how to add new questions. Where? They have not, that participant has not mentioned about uh, Mr. Kaushik Majumdar. Can you please mention that uh, which kind of resource which, which are you template? creating? Yeah, yeah. Where do you want to add one more question? Is it on fill in the blank? Is it on something else? Yes. yes. You can, un Mr. Kaushik, MCQ. you can unmute yourself and you can it's ask directly. MCQ. MCQ. Okay, okay. So in MCQ, if you go to Lumi, multiple choice question, right? So you, you give a title, then you keep on adding questions. You could, you could add question, which is the capital of India. And you give options. Option one is Mumbai. Then there is another option. Option text will be Delhi. Then I can have one more option. Add one more option. It can be Chennai. Right? And I know which one is correct. So Delhi is correct. I'll, I'll click on Delhi. Now I want to add one more question. So this is this is multiple choice question. Only one question having multiple choices, right? So in multiple choice, we can have only one question at a time. If you go to fill in the blank, if you go to here, in fill in the blank, you can have text block, one text block, like I added one here. Similarly, I have another text block. Now I can add one more text block. So I keep on adding text block after text block, means line after line, as many questions as you want. So if you are done with this, then you click on another add block, text block. So you put the as many as text block you can add. All right, then I request all the participants to keep working on this different template of your interest and then please keep posting on the WhatsApp group. I believe you have allowed them to post. See, some people are still sharing their computer locations. Sir, uh, give time. me five minutes. We will allow them. We will allow them to post in the right. WhatsApp group. Sir, uh, we have allowed participants to post in the group. Yeah. Fine then, that's all from my side. I mean, I request you to keep keep on working and uh, keep on adding, sharing your video content, I mean, uh, interactive content. Uh, still, I would like to ask if any participant has any query, we can quickly answer. Sir, can quickly answer. And then we can wind up the session. Mr. Subradas uh, had already raised hand, but I think he had shown the content. So is there any query? Uh, for H5P, I would say that uh, <coughs> you can keep practicing and as the more you will practice, the more you will understand. And as sir already said, it's not really tough. The only thing required is practice. 
so it will definitely you will find it really interesting as you will practice more and more you can try with other resources like some of them have shown fill in the blanks spot spot uh, put images in the sequence there are so many options and they are really interesting to try um, and show to the students make them participate in that so keep doing that and your queries can be answered later on also in the whatsapp group and you can send your um, resources which you have already created as already told by sir in the whatsapp group it is enabled to the it is allowed to the participants now they can send their resources now i would uh, before uh, before ending today's session i would like to request state coordinators of uh, manipur and meghalaya <coughs> Um, I would like to request if they are here, uh, state coordinators of Manipur and Meghalaya, are you here? Are you here? Uh, can anyone tell me who is the state coordinator of Manipur and who is the state coordinator of Meghalaya? Yes, I'm here, ma'am. Davan, Davan. Okay. Uh, hello, Mr. Davan. Uh, you are from Meghalaya and from Manipur. Who is the state coordinator from Manipur? Anyone from Manipur can tell? Uh, um, Ma'am, this is Sir Asok Singh. Asok Kumar Singh, sir. Uh, Mr. Ashok Kumar. Yes, yes. Is he in the meeting? Uh, right now, I have. I haven't seen. Okay, so I would request on uh, Mr. Ashok's part, Miss Sarita. It's great that you responded. Can you please uh, convey the message to Mr. Ashok, sir, that uh, if <coughs> he has to depute one of the resource person from uh, Manipur and uh, Mr. Davan from Meghalaya, you also have to depute one person.